Hello friends, welcome to ASP.NET uh, tutorial. In this video, we will look into form submit via a button click. Now let's proceed with uh, uh, submit button and how to submit the data to the server. ASP.NET renders button control as a standard push button. When user clicks the button, all the form data is submitted to the server. Now let's uh, look at this with an example. Now we will close the example from uh, previous uh, video and we will create a new web form so in the last video also we saw form submit and here we will continue with uh, different uh, input uh, fields So here we open the split view and inside the div tag we have two controls one is asp label and another one is text box and once you save you can see both so text we are having it as a first name and that is displayed here next we have a text box Now we will proceed with the next set of controls and here you can see we have a last name. We are not using the special label control instead we are just uh, uh, typing the last name here. Previously we used a, a label and you can use a static text like this also here if you see there is no label then we have a text box control again let's save this to see how it looks and you can see this one is actually a label but this one is a normal standard text right then we have one more text box and finally we have the submit button so this is nothing but a normal button control right so either you can paste the code in your source window and you will get the form design or you can go to the toolbox and place the control one by one this form design is available for you as a code download so you simply go to the source and place the content inside this uh, div tag and once you switch back to design your uh, form controls will be ready and uh, you can always uh, click on a specific control and look at the property that is showing in bold color so that's the customization made after dropping the control say for example a text box is dropped then id is set as txt first name that's all similarly for submit button if you look at here we named the id as btn submit text as submit so those are all the property uh, overridden from the default so you can either drop the control and set the property or use the downloaded code as a reference say for example when you drop a text box you will come to know you have to set id as a txt last name a run at server will be provided by the ASP itself with AC 256 and if you need you can set that or you can change it all right now let's go to the design view properties here btn submit is already shown since we copy pasted the code but if you go to the code behind you will not see that so what you have to do by default 
in the property window you won't uh, see this uh, event handler but uh, since we provided on click btn submit that is displayed here so just a double click once to have an entry here in the code behind here if you think we are taking the first name as well as last name and appending the content and storing that as submitted data then so it is stating that lbl display is not there okay that means we need to add lbl display so go to source view and add a label with id lbl display right so now we have the lbl display so here is lbl display right now if you look at code behind that error is gone we can rebuild the solution so rebuild all is succeeded now we can run the project okay here we typed first name as raman kapil raman and once you click submit the data will be submitted to the asp server and in the submit handler we are assembling this and displaying that in the label and you can see that right so here in this video you learned how to use a simple form submit that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye